Okay, guys, I got one today that may apply to a lot of you. 543 valve spark plug replacement. Just got handed to me at the end of the day. And uh, hopefully, for video purposes, one breaks off so I can show you the extraction uh, method with the vial tool, which is what most of you will be buying to uh, extract them. You can get it for about $85 most places. And uh, first step we got to do, and what I'm going to do before the end of the day, is pull those coils off and then uh, crack the plugs back quarter to a half turn. And then I'm going to spray the carb cleaner down in there that Ford recommends. All right, this is what Ford wants us to use uh, down those spark plug wells. Spray it down in there after you crack the plug quarter or half turn, and then it'll, it'll wick past the threads and get to the tip of the plug, which is what's actually stuck in the head by carbon. And it's this tip right here that's, that's stuck in there. And the way they made them before, originally, was a three-piece design. So you got one, one piece, two, and three, and they literally can separate in any one of those sections. So now they, on these new ones, the SP515, which is the latest and late greatest uh, plugs for these, they are supposedly at one-piece design to prevent that in the future. So hopefully this is the last time you have to do this on your truck or deal with any kind of broken plugs on your truck uh, for the life of it. So we're going to go ahead and pull those coils so we can crack the plugs and spray down in there and I'll show you how to do that. Alright, first thing, blow it out so you won't get none of that debris and leaves and grime and rocks down in the spark plug well. Especially concentrate around that quail boot before you pull the quail out. Alright, next pull your quail off. It's a 7 mil bolt holding it down. Get that bolt out of the way so there's no chance of it falling down the cylinder. And then you got your coil primary plug right here. Release it. Get it out of the way. Little connector there. And then get your coil off to the side. Then we're going to blow out that area around the well. And we're going to blow out the well before we start even doing anything. Alright, now we got the well all cleaned out. We're ready to try to start getting this puppy out of here. It's a 916 socket you're going to need, spark plug socket. And uh, I usually do a long extension so I have some more room. I'm not so close in there. And a lot of times I have to use a half inch ratchet with an adapter, of course, and uh, to get that extra turning torque. And just turn it back, you know, loosen it about a quarter to a half turn. You might hear some screeching. Might be easy at first. Let's see if we can do this one handed. You can hear it. The porcelain's already starting to go in this one. This is not going to be good on this truck. It just moved there. The whole thing. So this one might actually come out. That right there, that's a good sign. When it's making that, it, it gives and chirps sound like that, that means it's moving, it's not coming apart. Either way, do yourself a favor. Now we've turned it a quarter to a half turn and spray that cylinder. Okay, we're gonna spray that cleaner down in there. The plug inside of the, the well, fill it to the top of this nut right here what they call a jam nut and that'll be enough reserve and then it'll wick past the threads here and down 
and it'll start eating away at all the carbon right here that's making it actually stick in the cylinder. And I'll show you how it looks in the spark plug well once it's settled. And then you just let it sit. Uh, overnight is best. Otherwise, at least 10 to 15 minutes at least. Alright. Fill it to the top like that, it'll be foamy and super strong. And when it settles, it should be at that jam nut, if not a little higher. Okay, the absolute best way to do this is a 3 8 impact. And uh, once you've let it soak 15 minutes or more, preferably overnight. And then what you do is use the impact, the 3 8 impact, to pull it out and use that constant hammering torque, the constant turning torque, and it helps it come out without snapping. Uh, so let's try it out. This works 90% of the time, as long as you had enough soak time. And uh, let's try it. You want to fully... You don't want to give it the full force of the impact, just half or three quarters on the button there. And as you saw, it was a constant turning torque out. Let's see if it came out. And it did. This one's carbon was not too bad. But as you can see that carb cleaner, which is super strong, has definitely gotten down in there and done something. And after that, besides that, you know, the plug will come out. And that's the way to do it. Now what Ford has us doing to prevent us in the future from that tip sticking in there is to have high temperature nickel anti-seize on here, the high temperature stuff, all the way around from Ford. And of course put some of your threads because it's going to an aluminum head. And this is supposed to prevent it in the future. Put a, a light coat on there all the way around. It's more than enough. And uh, let's go ahead and put it back in the cylinder. Make sure you blow out that spark plug well. Try to get deep down in there. Now that that cylinder's all cleaned out of the fluid, we can go ahead and put it in by hand at first so we don't cross thread it and cause any more problems. And then you can use a 3 8 ratchet like this and snug it down until it stops. And then turn it probably another quarter, another eighth to a quarter of a turn if you don't have a torque wrench and that'll be snugged up in there so it won't come out and we can move on to the next one okay so make sure your coil looks like this one nice and clean there's no oil or coolant on it from any other sources any other weird debris and then put a little dab of dielectric grease in there like the one here from Motorcraft and that'll provide that seal between the spark plug and the coil a little extra added dielectric in there and go ahead and put it back in. One thing I forgot to mention is if you're going to be pulling all these coils out and then uh, attacking each one of these let them soak like I stated earlier, each one you do and you successfully pull out, clean the cylinder and put the new one back in before anything falls into there, like a bolt or anything like that. Um, keep one cylinder open at a time and uh, prevent any problems that way. Put your connector back on your coil until it makes a little click noise. You know it's in there and tighten your 7 mil bolt back down. And we'll start attacking the other ones. Let's see if we can uh, find one of these that's stuck so good that we can 
that it'll be broken off in there and we can uh, do a video on that.